This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. This reading is by Michael Sirois, michael.sirois, S-I-R-O-I-S, dot com. Penguin Island by Anatole France Book Two, The Ancient Times Book Two, Chapter Twelve The Dragon of Alca, Continuation Orborosia, having clothed herself in a robe made of coarse stuff, and girt herself with a thick cord, went to the monastery and asked to speak to the blessed male. And because women were forbidden to enter the enclosure of the monastery, the old man advanced outside the gates, holding his pastoral cross in his right hand, and resting his left on the shoulder of Brother Samuel, the youngest of his disciples. He asked, "'Woman, who art thou?' I am the maiden Orborosia. At this reply, Mael raised his trembling arms to heaven. Do you speak truth, woman? It is a certain fact that Orborosia was devoured by the dragon. And yet I see Orborosia and hear her. Did you not, O oh my daughter, while within the dragon's bowels, arm yourself with the sign of the cross and come uninjured out of his throat? That is what seems to me the most credible explanation. "'You are not deceived, father,' answered Orborosia. "'That is precisely what happened to me. "'Immediately I came out of the creature's bowels, "'I took refuge in a hermitage on the coast of shadows. "'I lived there in solitude, "'giving myself up to prayer and meditation "'and performing unheard-of austerities, "'until I learned by a revelation from heaven "'that a maid alone could overcome the dragon, "'and that I was that maid.' "'Show me a sign of your mission,' said the old man. "'I myself am the sign,' answered Oborosia. "'I am not ignorant of the power of those who have placed a seal upon their flesh,' replied the apostle of the penguins. "'But are you indeed such as you say?' "'You will see by the result,' answered Oborosia. The monk regimental drew near. "'That will,' said he, "'be the best proof.' King Solomon has said, Three things are hard to understand, and a fourth is impossible. They are the way of a serpent on the earth, the way of a bird in the air, the way of a ship in the sea, and the way of a man with a maid. I regard such matrons as nothing less than presumptuous, who claim to compare themselves in these matters with the wisest of kings. Father, if you are led by me, you will not consult them in regard to the pious Orborosia. When they have given their opinion, you will not be a bit farther on than before. Virginity is not less difficult to prove than to keep. Pliny tells us in his history that its signs are either imaginary or very uncertain. The author inserts a note at this point. We have vainly sought for this phrase in Pliny's natural history. One who bears upon her the fourteen signs of corruption may yet be pure in the eyes of the angels, and on the contrary, another who has been pronounced pure by the matrons who inspected her may know that her good appearance is due to the artifices of a cunning perversity. As for the purity of this holy girl here, I would put my hand in the fire in witness of it. He spoke thus because he was the devil, but old Mael did not know it. He asked the pious Orborosia, My daughter, how would you proceed to conquer so fierce an animal as he who devoured you? The virgin answered, Tomorrow at sunrise, O Mael, you will summon the people together on the hill in front of the desolate moor that extends to the coast of shadows and you will take care that no man of the penguins remains less than five hundred paces from those rocks, so that he may not be poisoned by the monster's breath, and the dragon will come out of the rocks, and I will put my girdle round his neck, and lead him like an obedient dog. Ought you not to be accompanied by a courageous and pious man who will kill the dragon? asked Mael. It will be as thou sayest, venerable father. I shall deliver the monster to Kraken who will slay him with his flashing sword. For I tell thee that the noble Kraken, who was believed to be dead, will return among the penguins, and he shall slay the dragon, 
and from the creature's belly will come forth the little children whom he has devoured. "'What you declare to me, O virgin,' cried the apostle, "'seems wonderful and beyond human power.' "'It is,' answered the virgin Orborosia. "'But learn, O male, that I have had a revelation, that as a reward for their deliverance, the penguin people will pay to the night kraken an annual tribute of three hundred fowls, twelve sheep, two oxen, three pigs, one thousand eight hundred bushels of corn, and vegetables according to their season, and that, moreover, the children who will come out of the dragon's belly will be given and committed to the said kraken to serve him and obey him in all things. If the penguin people fail to keep their engagements, a new dragon will come upon the island more terrible than the first. I have spoken. End of chapter 12